Mark Dulang. Coming back from New Orleans. Mark, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, Frank. How you doing? I'm still alive. It's always a good thing. Yeah, I'm still alive, too. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing, man? Your, 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 your tour is ended. You're going back home to Austin, Texas. That I am. What's happening in Austin? Uh, you know, uh, the New Year's starting out pretty good. I got a couple of shows playing out there at uh, Dozen Street beginning in Dan January and uh, over at Culinary Dropout as well. That's good. So, are you are you putting an album together, or is is the album together? Or do you need a band? Are you looking for the band? What's going on? What's what what steps are you taking right now? Oh well, you know, a lot has happened in the last year. Actually, uh, last year or this year, we have to get to the new year, but uh, put out a record. Uh, it's my first solo record, all all done by myself, uh, DIY, you could say, and it's called uh, Camp Acid and the Latter Day States. Well, let's hear some tunes. <laughs> When she told me my eyes were red, I didn't see the light was green on the road that left me walking on the paper lights. When she asked me what that means, or an answer that breaks the scene, just a question that no one seems to like. When she asked me if I was lonely, I said, baby, maybe I'm free. Only human on the south side at the time. You're asking when I'm dreaming. Then she told me life was spent on a dollar to pay my rent. Makes me wonder how much time I got left. Peace
Sounding good, Mr. Dulang. Thank you very much, Frank. I like it, man. We, we got to get that song on the road. Yeah, we're getting it on the road, man. There's another tour. I'm going to be, uh, I'm gonna be uh, traveling out with the band, the group. I got a, a group of fellas that play with me out there in Austin now. It's really nice. We're going by Mark Dulong and the band. Mark Dulong and the band. How does it feel to be like the headliner? <laughs> to, be, to have your name. It's not like... The band, you know, the a band name. It's Mark Dulong and the band. Honestly, it's just like working with those guys. They they're all hardworking musicians in Austin too, and they have bands like the uh, bass player. He plays for a funk band called the Tiger Lily, and they're an amazing Austin band. They go touring all around in Texas as well. And uh, you know, the guitar player uh, Chevy Dixon. He is an amazing uh, uh, bluegrass meets rock and roll player some kind of swamp psychedelic thing. John Hasenbrook, I mean, this guy's been around for a long time. He's played many projects as well. So it's just cool to finally work with some people who are helping me kind of make the music, you know, evolve. You just kind of see it evolve as it goes around. Yeah, and it's kind of helping you find your voice too because, I mean, it's one thing to play by yourself and to write your tunes and, to, and play them in front of a mirror or even in front of a crowd. <laughs> in but, the restroom. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But, <laughs> but when you got... Other guys and gals that are like responding to your music musically and using their own creative sources and creative minds, and all of a sudden it 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 forces you to go to the best place possible. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it, despite all you know, any creative journey, I think that you know, when you get the uh, the chance or opportunity to really collaborate with other people and you take something that you've written or wrote from six years ago or ten years ago. Uh, and then they take it, add their flavor to it. It's just as once uh, a really great musician in Dan Patrovita, who also plays in Austin, Texas, he, he said, "You know, I just, you know, I made the pot of stew. You're just gonna add a little salt. Just tell me if it needs a little bit more salt. You know, it just <laughs> needs a little flavor." I like good Dan Patrovita. He's doing some really excellent stuff with his artwork too. Yeah, if you if you guys haven't checked that uh, Dan Patrovita work out there, you should check him out. He's yeah. His, his paintings are gone through the roof. I keep following him. I'm like, wow, man, this guy, is, I need to buy his painting like when nobody knows about this guy. Yeah, a Pachavito painting. I mean, I'm the, the, one, and one of the most uh, well-renowned pianists that I know out there, too, as well. So are you going to do another tune for us? Yeah, I'll do another song for you. <clears throat>
Cause you're at the crosswalk of 12th Avenue with the people in the city. Doing young things and making life pretty good. My baby sweet talks me all night long. My baby sweet talks me all night long. My baby sweet talks me all night. Nice man. Thanks man. <laughs> so we're we're here in my studio apartment doing this um, off the cuff recording with Mark Dulong, and I'm I'm so happy you decided to come back and uh, and do this with me. This is fun, and and so far none of the neighbors have knocked on the roof, the ceiling, it the works. walls. <laughs> <laughs> I think it works. Yeah, we haven't upset anybody just yet, though we might. <laughs> Turn it down. Turn it down a little bit. <laughs> uh, let's do one more song, man. And um, what's what do you think? Do you have a signature song? Do you have a uh, something that you want everybody to know you by that song, or do you? Is how does that work? Uh, uh, you just I have so many tunes that I've written, um, and it's it's just a matter I feel like of the feel, you know, like how. Uh, I feel in the moment. It's not one of like one signature song that I play over and over. In fact, like I don't, sometimes it it just comes out and it just works for the moment. Um, uh, it's uh, it, and it ends up sounding different every single time. It never gets played. I mean, I have a general idea of how the tune is played. I know how it functions, but you know, you start to play and you get into that that moment of feel. And like, I didn't write that in, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's the beauty, though. That's the beauty is when those little gems happen and they come from you. They really come from your unconscious in many ways. But th th that's that's the true you, man. When the, when those little gems come out and you didn't plan for them, but they're perfect. Yeah. Those are the those are the best ones. Yeah. Living it, <laughs> loving it. All right, one more tune from Mark Dulang. <laughs> So what if and ask for more than to be somewhere new? These places wouldn't be the same unless I'm there with you. Would you come take my hand to not so distant land? Trees, candy kisses, we're two lovers from our hearts. The body would feel a lightning spark in a battery brand new. And these places wouldn't be the same unless I'm there with
every time I turn a corner, I swear I thought I saw your face walking down that concrete sidewalk with your eyes full of grace. The mind finally settles in just to watch the tide pass through. These places wouldn't be the same unless I'm there with your touch reawakens me and I Sleep, oh baby. I everybody playing for us here in my studio apartment in the Museum District of Houston, Texas. I'm your host Francois Pointeau. This is Radar Talk. I do a live show every third Thursday of the month at Under the Radar Brewery at 6 p.m. And then every week or so, whenever a cool guy like Mark comes through town, we do a little private intimate session. Mark, that was cool stuff, man. I like Thanks, it. Thanks, Frank. Yeah. Hey, you know, uh, just to let you know if you want to hear any of my stuff, um, I do have a record out online you can purchase. It's Mark, M-A-R-C, Dulong, D-U-L-A-N-G, dot bandcamp, dot com. Do you have a Facebook page or uh, any kind of other social media? Yeah, you can follow me on, uh, you know, Instagram and Facebook. It's Mark Dulong, M-A-R-C, D-U-L-A-N-G, music. And soon to be touring the whole of the United States. Yeah, you know, hopefully all the way to Brooklyn and back. Better watch out, you know, you're in the band, it's like another hurricane up the coast. <laughs> I like it. All right, man, thank you so much for coming in and dropping in and dropping your tunes here. Uh, I love it, man. I can't wait to uh, I can't wait to see your face, your beautiful face on big old poster boards everywhere. <laughs> you can see my beautiful face any day, Frank. <laughs> 